Hello, we're here. This should be the proper amount of battles. Who are you? It was fate that I woke up and met you here. Yeah. He gave me a mithril. Thanks. You fought 299 times. So I need two mithrils. So I'm going to go and get into one more fight. And that'll get me to 300, which give me another mithril. Because we need... Wait. Can we hold two mithrils or no? I don't think we can, but I'm going to try. Come on, give me a fight. Give me a fight. You can't get two mithril at once. Okay. So I'll go and trade in one mithril now, then I'll come back for another one later. Wait, where do I go? Since we're, we're out here, just literally. Since using the cheap. Oh my cheat. god! No, I'm not. I'm not doing. I'm not using the um. Cheat. What cheat? What cheat? What cheat? What cheat? If that's forward one. That's not cheating. It's cool. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to cheat the playthrough. I don't get out of here. It's this way. Yeah, it's this way. Okay. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll do this though. So. This giant owl thing that's gonna hug me, mm -hmm. the big huggy bear, he's the guy that I need to learn White Wind from. Don't hit him! Okay, so manipulate him. Do you learn to boomers or Gen X people X Men? Yes. Yeah, he's manipulated. So now I should be able to use White Wind. Heal us, please. Uh, okay, let's just kill him. Do you also want big guard? Yes, but I can't get it here, can I? I don't think I can get big guard here. If I can, I'll get it right now. That's a, a big guard's the best buff in the game. What does that do? It gives you physical defense buff, magic defense buff, and haste. Are you like riding on the tops of the trees? Do that again. Nope. You are. Well, I mean, kinda. It's on a beach outside of Costa del Sol. Okay, I'll get them. Magic, magic, fuck you guys. Boom. Okay, now where do I actually bring this this mithril? It's like over here, isn't it? It's like a guy's house. Where's the house? Go we'll find it. Ooh, go back. I thought I saw a thing. Okay. Either continent, is it? Okay. Ow, Jesus. I guess I'll go back to Costa de Sol, though. Then we'll do that. Do, 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 do. Oh, shit. At this moment, I kind of wish you would turn off the counters. Also, that's a bat, not an owl. Look at it. Looks like an owl bat. Maybe it is. Here we go. I don't mind a little bit of extra experience. Since we're actually just doing like running around busy work, I'll, I'll leave the fast forward on. Mm-hmm. Until we get to like the actual next plot point. Bowel. Movements. <laughs> yeah, fine. I guess you could fast forward. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Yeah, we's a chocobo today. Wait. <gasps> Can you not? Why not? I got laid off as a Corona Chan. Otherwise, I'm gonna give you hundred dollars. Oh damn, dude. Um. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, but like, I don't completely disagree with him, Zen. And also, I don't want people spending money on me if they're getting laid off. That's a we, good thing, actually. That's a good point. We do not get Knights of the Round, no. Do you think that you could beat Sargon in a debate? Probably not. Even if you, like, had ample time to prep? Probably not. Hmm. What if he didn't have any time to prep, but you did? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, let's let's do the topic of, you know, like, child freeness, okay? And, you know, you guys are debating opposite sides, Sargon mm -hmm. being the traditionalist he is, mm -hmm. and you not being. Uh -huh. uh, if you had like a full month of time to prep, he's like, I think he's partially. Any... I think he's partially right, though. Not completely. What about what? Um, I think that if you want your society's values to go forward beyond your lifespan, the best way to do that is to have kids. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
That's that's what his main argument is. Or you is. could just become a dictator and force your... And yeah, then you eventually die. People. Then you eventually die. Okay. Yeah, but then, you know, you'll have... Well, fucking look at Hitler. Some people still think that being a Nazi is cool. That's fine. Not a fucking argument. Well, I mean... You're, you're dumb. Okay. <laughs> Where's this house I gotta go to? Find it. Looking. Bitch. 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 No amount of prep what time the fuck are these? Dev. Uh, the fucking Grim Reaper? That's not true. Okay, let's just beat the shit out of them before they kill me with those cards. That's a joker. Oh, oh shit! Okay, you didn't kill me that. I mean, I agree, Bun Sucks. Where's I just, the house? It would, I just think the fact. Talk about tracks. Stop talking over me. Oh. <laughs> I just oh, think no. I just think it shouldn't be weird if people don't want kids, but I don't think it should be normalized. Um, if it's not weird, then it's normal, and therefore it's normalized. Okay, not necessarily like not weird, but like people, you know, being like, "Wow." You're fucking gross. You need to go have a baby right now. And me being like, well, I don't want babies. Like, oh, yes. Why? I don't need that type of reaction. So. Okay. If I didn't have that reaction all the time, or people trying to convince me to have children when I say no, that would be nice. That's all I want. Here's the house. Okay. No one's here. Come back. We can't do this yet. You did all the things for nothing. Okay. So I can get I can get big guard though from these um these like crustacean looking things. These cephalopods here. Nah, it's fine, Zen Chan. We talk about some politics stuff and I thread Dev's bare asshole. Yep. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Your number comes up, you have to have three plus kids. No tanky. Mm. Also, the tour of our cult, you bad death. Yeah, well, I know. I still think it's weird, this thing has a mouth. Squawk! Okay, there they are. So these are the guys that I have to do, um, manipulate on. Manip. 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 Manip, manip. Holy shit, fuck my internet connection. Hello, yep. Hangman. Congrats on your shitty internet connection. I couldn't manipulate him, dude. Oh, dude. Maybe you should have be better. Oh, dude, dude. I don't even know any Mormons. That's the worst part. Yeah. They come to town occasionally, though. You get, get like, the, the few Mormons. Never Actually, those them. are Amish. Never mind. Yep. My wife's doctor made her leave work the last three weeks of her pregnancy. Instead of giving her an employment, her work made her start the unpaid maternity leave three weeks early. Yep. Here we go, here we go. Dude, big guard. Give me big guard, please. I was convincing people that fulfilling the genetic reason for existing and breeding considered going down a rabbit hole. Kids are like dealing with a bipolar woman. Fun at times, soul crushing at others. We have now learned big guard. Fuck yeah. Congratulations. Okay, so, yeah. I, I don't know if fulfilling the genetic reason for existing and breeding is not... That's not actually an argument at all because, um, one, we're not simply genetic beings, we are people. Two, um, if, if, if our genes only existed to propagate themselves, then like other, then like the praying mantis, we would die after having kids. But the male dies. Yeah, but okay, other species, they die when they have children. Well, some, some human mothers die. Yeah. I'm just pointing but, that out. Yeah, yeah, but that's not part of the, the, the blueprint of what we're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. we, we survive for, for many years after our kids are grown. Like, there's no evolutionary reason for that. Well, yes, there is. It's because, be, like, at least, so, like, raising kids until they're, like, children, mm -hmm. like, past toddler years until when you can actually call them a child, mm -hmm. because they can't survive on their own up until then. Yeah, spiders do that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but like, th that's what I mean though, is like, w why wouldn't we just naturally die when our kids can survive without us? What is this thing? Go in and find out. Oh, this is Goganga, that ruined town. That, um, remember when, um, Dio gave us a letter? Yes, like, yes, yes, Sephiroth. Yes, but we, we just Sephiroth. happened. Sephiroth, God. Sephiroth, boy. 
it's more the people he's been talking to. I just worry that he's in an echo chamber. He's not. He either talks to people who he agrees with or when he talks to people he disagrees with, it turns into a shouting mask like with Christy Winters. Just yes. feels like he could do with a healthy debate with someone he respects like Dev. I don't really Zen think Zen Chan, that. we all actually like debate him in private on that on that one issue because we all think he's wrong. So don't worry about that. Yes, he is. Kay. William Hero. Let's drive into town. Go, bitch, go. Did you get out of the fucking... Okay. Here we go. Welcome to Gonganga. Is someone there? It's the Turks. Lame. Hey, Rude, who do you like? What are you getting so embarrassed about? Come on, who do you like? Ara, ara. Hmm. That's a tough one. Yeah, I bet, eh? But poor Elena. She and you. No, she likes Sung. I never knew that. But Sung likes that ancient. She likes Eris. <laughs> What are they talking about? There's Elena. Oh. That. It's so stupid. They talk about who they like and they don't like, but seeing is different. I forgot what voice I did for her as soon as I started doing it. She's the customer service voice. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, oh, no! They're here, they're really here. Hmm, then it's time. Rude, don't go near them. You're not even the girls. Don't worry, I'll do my job. Then we're counting on you. I'll report to Sun. See ya. And bye. It's been a while. Payback time for what you did in Sector 7. Uh, what were you going to say? Did you Se buy something from Naomi? I wouldn't buy something from me Sector in that Sector 7? Case. That's sad. That's as far as you go. Okay. So we got to fight Rude and Reno at the same time. Here we go. Come on, you fucks. There's three of you and two of them. It's fine. I just put big guard up. Yeah. Oh, it goes on all of them? Yeah. Oh, that's OP too. Yeah, look, look, at, look at the barrier meters. See? They're full. That's like physical and magical defense up. Nice. And because the magical defense stat is busted from the armor, mm -hmm. it's the only way to get magical defense in this game. Wow. Is to use big guard. Sargon has a kid. Dankula likely will now. V might one day. Face it, Dev, you're gonna have to rent a kid to take over your channel. If you rent a Zoomer, you can call it Game Zoomers! Oh god, Game Zoomers, dude. Also, Bunsus wants to know if Sargon would force a woman who doesn't want to pass on a whole bunch of genetic No, she would No, he wouldn't. Because yeah. I've actually... Like, I, I drew a line with him and I was like, listen, no state force can be used. Like, you, you, you can have, like, cultural reasons to make people want to have more kids, but you can't have state force to make them do it. Oh, dude, we know right away. Yeah, well, he's a cow eyed He's like, look at, my, look at the watch, I gotta go. So he just, like, limps out of screen, so yeah. Oh, I meant if he tried to convince. Sorry, Bunsets, I tried to remember he, it, but He might try to convince away. them, but that, what, what's wrong with that, you know? Anyone can try to convince anybody of anything, as long as they're not forcing them to do it, who cares? I don't know. Hey, something seems wrong. Like they knew we were coming. Oh. They followed us, but there weren't any signs of it. Then that means a spy, maybe? No, no way. Who's the spy? I don't want to think about there being a spy. It's definitely, definitely Aerith. Really? Yeah, totally, 100%. So, hold on. She's the spy. I can't PHS here. Oh, shit. Rude always knows when Arrow is coming. That's a giant praying mantis. Oh, it has two heads. No, I don't like it. Kill it. Okay, we're, we're gonna it. work. I'll work on it. Are you webbed me? Sargon sounds like he'd tell a couple whose kids always turn out into deformed meatballs to keep having kids. Yeah, see, I don't know if you do that. I'd have to ask him. Nope, bugs are bad. Also, Tovar says he thinks the fairy tale is the seven slot air weapon. Oh, cool. I'm not sure to use it. Wait, does it have three heads or two? Did I miscount? I only saw two. Is it dead? Mm -hmm. Yes, it. You coward. You two should watch Lex. It's like space parody with adult jokes and nudity. Best What's show to come way? out of Canada. Okay, so here's the, uh... Thank you, Bunsets. This pile of ruins. Check this out. That's unfortunate. You like monster girl bugs? Nope, no monster that girl bugs. That is a bugs. giant Triceratops tank. There's wheels. I love it. What the fuck are we fighting? What you just said. 
But why? Wait, select the name. I want to see what it's actually called. Okay. Heavy tank. That's lame name. Lame it name. It is pretty lame, yeah. Yeah, Bunsuts. Sar uh, Sargon has a, a channel called The Symposium where he talks about philosophical content and he has a CAD daily. Those are his two channels right now that he uses. A so failed like, transformer. Yep. <laughs> Literally doesn't have genitals and she's in love with the protagonist. Mm. I think it's weird that like a technically asexual being can feel love. Okay. Like, genetically, you know? Okay, so. This is a ruined Mako reactor. Oh shit, man. A ruined reactor. And there's a helicopter coming. Oh shit, boy! It's Sung and what's and Scarlet. Yeah. Hey, I shouldn't open development. Gotta hide. It's fine. She'll just come right over. Oh no. Okay, I guess not. This isn't any good either. You only get junky bacteria from junky reactors. This reactor's a failure. No shit, dude. It's like a giant wreck. What I'm looking for is a big, large, huge materia. You seen any? No, I have not seen it. I'll get on it right away. Please. We could make that ultimate weapon if we only had some. <laughs> I just can't wait. With Hojo gone, weapon development's been getting a bigger budget. I envy them. But even if we make the oh. perfect weapon, could that stupid hide digger even use it? Oh, sorry. I forget hide digger was your boss. <laughs> Let's go. Mm -hmm. You like my Scarlet voice, though? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Big, large, huge material. Oh, yeah, the Minecraft server. Scump crashed it when we used, we used World Edit like an idiot. Did he do that again? Yeah. Just ban him. Ban scrum. We're going so, to expose our entire plan in front of you. If you recall, the sleeping man talked about huge materia, mm -hmm. and they're looking for huge materia too out of reactors. Apparently, like a big reactor will make a big materia. Oh, really? Neat. <laughs> FF7 is sacred. Have fun. <laughs> no, no, you stay, stay here, chill cowboy. We'll talk about it with you. At least while I'm doing fights. Okay. There's something shiny back there. Reach for it. The Titan Materia. Oh shit, boy. That's for this, the Titan summon. Is this a sign of things to come? Scrump going to end the real world next time? Maybe. Who knows? Oh, he attacked you from behind. You should probably heal, by the way. You don't have to, there's a town coming up. Yeah, sure, attack on Titan. No, do you recall the Titan boss from, um. No. Final Fantasy 15? No. The giant guy holding the no. plate? No. You got to summon later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's Titan Materia. It was the first one. No, the first one was Rowling. The Thunder boss? guy. No, the first boss was the Titan dude. And, but the first summon you get was Rowling. No, yes, but the first boss was the Titan guy. Well, the first boss, like, it was like, a, like, it was like a mech early in the game. The big boss. The first big boss. Okay, the first big boss. Hey! Have kids, you're depressed because you don't have kids. Because kids make the world go round and make your life better, even though they're soul sucking jerks who are gonna grow up to hate you because you will fuck them up. Mm. No offense to any parents in the channel chat. Got more of these. Yeah, regarding the server, guys, um, Scrump said we had a, a year left to go on, on the, uh, the monies for it. No, we don't. But I did pay for it for, for several months in advance, so we gotta stick with it for now. Um, however, yeah, you're just gonna hide from these, aren't you? However, yeah, um, it does lag, but at the same time, like, I've noticed that it only lags during... Are we just paralyzed? We're just fucking paralyzed, dude. All of us are paralyzed. We're we gonna die here? Dude, wake up. Guys, I'll fast forward it. You should probably heal. Okay. But anyway, 
I didn't die. The most important thing to remember about children is that they're terrible people. Yeah, all mm -hmm. children are sociopaths in general. Until, the you know, they we? grow up to learn empathy. Here at a grave site. Okay, here's the town. Oh. A reactor explosion three years ago took my husband. Rip. It's unfortunate. See, this town's kind of shit. And there's that reactor we were just at. Yep. A ruined reactor. Okay. Can I have another plot for my Christchurch if, uh... We'll, we'll figure it out after. Uh, what's this arrow? Oh, I can climb up. Who's this dude? You want something? Uh, let's hear a story. One day, a huge explosion killed many of the townspeople. Of course. Okay, so to get off this kid's mood, Dev, which game the this last 10 years did you think was the most disappointing not bad but specifically what you thought was going to be great but just came out really not good mine was the division thought it was going to be a great game with base development survival mechanics like a non-zombie state of decay just ended up realistic borderlands um straight up final fantasy 15 yeah me too pokemon sword yeah yeah want something what's his story voted out all the use of mega energy and live with nature ever since the explosion nice cool it's probably what the terrorists should have done but mm-hmm Okay, headband, silver glasses, star pendant, talisman, white cape, fury ring, mystify, that's a new material. These are all these are new materials. Heal, transform, okay. Ha! <laughs> Alright, yeah, Torvar. Oh, that reminds me of the Nerf gun fight me and my siblings had with our dad Christmas Day. It's been a while since the explosion, you can still find a piece of it left all over the town. Damn, dude. This place sucks. This is also, like, the most forgettable town in the game. Cause, like, nothing even happens here. Dynamax is retarded. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh. This happens here, though. You a traveler? Hey, wait, that glow in your eye. You a soldier? Oh, you're right. Do you know anything about our son? His name's Zack. Zack. It's been close to ten years since he left for the city, saying that he didn't want to live in the country. Zack Brannigan. He left saying he's going to be joining Soldier. You ever hear of a Zack and Soldier? Hmm, I don't know. Zack. Young lady, do you know him? I remember he wrote us. Uh, no, no, it's, it's the mom. Oh, fuck. I remember he wrote us six or seven years ago saying he had a girlfriend. Could that have been you? Tifa, was it you? Nope. She just leaves. She pieces out instantly. Um, bye. All right, all right, what happened? Barrett's like, I don't fucking know. Okay. Zack Schneider. Damn. And here's Tifa. Zack. Do you know him? N no, I don't know him. Your face tells me differently. I told you, I don't. All right. It sounds just like you leaving town saying I'm joining Soldier. There were lots of guys like like that back then. You must be a blah, blah, blah. you must really be something making it a soldier out of a group like that. I really respect you. What do we say? I don't know. Whatever makes her get in your pants. I worked hard. Hard work pays off. Hmm. Pretty boy, thanks for caring. Caring about my luscious lady lumps. Yeah. <laughs> Need a room? That's a story. Sure, you built the act, even think of the town safety, and this is the result, of course. I'll just steal your stuff, though. Don't worry about it. I agree, Zen Chan. I quite liked Final Fantasy 15 for the first big chunk of the mm -hmm. game during the bit where you had your car, and then when you had to get yep. on the boat, all went downhill. Yeah, no, yep, like yep, after yep. you leave, it just sucks. The white M phone, that's for, that's for big. The house is, this house is kind of wrecked. This is Gaganga Village. Many people died here to make a reactor explosion. No shit, Grandpa. I already figured that out. Okay, guys, I know that there's a different scene. There's a different scene if you bring Eris here. Well, then just go switch her out, bruh. But I don't know if you can get it again now that we've done the Tifa scene. 
I think you only see one. That's stupid. You should be able to see all. And yeah, the no spoilers. Don't look down there. No spoilers. Uh, Did you already see it? No. Okay, don't spoil because Naomi doesn't know anything. Here, I'll, I'll see if I can P PHS uh, Eris into the party, and we'll see. Is it gone? Oops, wrong way. Is it gone? It's gone. Yeah. Oh god, you got timed out. Look, we're fighting a frog! You turned me into a frog! I'm running away. Wait, that's not running. Run, run. Ah. I'm a frog too! Rivet, rivet, rivet. Good job, maybe. Immortal, I'm proud of you. Yami, yeah, who do you think is the spy? I think Aerith is the spy. Really? Because she, she was being pursued by. Oh, it's gross. Aerith was being pursued, though. Yep, it was by, all a ruse. Um, by some. Nope, it was all a ruse. You think so? Yep. Hmm. To get into the terrorist organization. Called being a double agent. Okay. Mm. If I bring Eris to Zach's family's house, what happens? Your soldier, soldier name is Zach? He's got, he's got his, in 10 years, after all of his parents. Okay, so I can't get the scene again. Lame. But a different material, a, a, a different scene happens with Eris. Lame. Anyway. What happens now? Like you die in a hole. We learned about Zach, but where do we actually go from here? You gotta go look for Sephiroth. You no, know, he was supposed to be in this town. Well, you gotta go look harder. Oh. Also, did you try going another way? Yeah, I've gone all the paths. Spy's obviously Barrett's gun. Oh shit! Is it? Yeah, that makes a lot of fucking sense. No, you fucking, I want to get in the car. I'm not Pikachu, I'm a Chocobo. Let me, let me in my car. Spice Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Kiss drive around. Through the rainforests. It's a dragon! Catch it! I'm Throw a Pokeball at it! Do it! I'm running away. Why? Don't you want to catch the dragon in your balls? No! Like Where's that. the tent? We have three tents, we're good. Big bird? I wish I could do a big bird voice, that'd be funny. Yeah. yeah. I wish I could- I don't even know his voice, I can't even think of it. It's like really nasally. Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler alert, the final boss is Gary Glitter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why did the sun change? Mm. This is a very specific part of the game. There's always, uh, it's always red over here in the Why? sky. Is it because this is a death mountain? Yeah, kinda. Yeah. Okay, so. You figure out where to go. Oh. Yeah, that, green we, we have to go here. But as we approach, the vehicle will break down. Oh, hold on, after this fight. There's, there's like desert penguins, dude. What the hell are these? They're, uh, what are those called? Desert Puffins. penguins. Puffins. Puffins? Puffins. Are they real? Puffins are real. Are they? Yeah. Oh. I hate voice actors that just talk instead of voice acting. Dustin Hoffman and Scarlett Johansson come to mind. I feel like sometimes, like, a, like a person, like, Okay, let me try and reword this. Yeah, let's give it a minute. Yeah. I feel like sometimes, uh, like, whoever's doing the auditions for voice actors will just hear, like, a regular person's voice and be like, Yes, you, I want you to voice this character because I think it would fit really well, mm -hmm. you know? And that, like, does sometimes put voice actors out of oh, work. Oh, shit. He's flying. He it was a puffin, not a penguin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe. But, like, I don't know. Like, if you hear just a regular person's voice and be like, yes, I want that voice for this character, you know, mm -hmm. then that's just like, yeah, okay, as long as it actually fits together, that's great. Okay, so, as we get close. Yep, well, now I don't believe you. Everything you have said is a lie, because the car didn't break down. Oh. Oh, there he goes. Huh? Name. Oh. oh, shit, boy. Oh man, a breakdown now. Okay, so we can't go back to to Costa de Sol and sail across the ocean anymore to go deal with um, Fort Condor. Mm -hmm. If you want to keep 
And, and there and there's Fort Condor missions that you that, that you will miss by going into this town. Mm -hmm. So what you have to do is park the buggy back at the start of the canyon so it won't break down. Mm -hmm. Walk into this town, mm -hmm. start missions, walk back out of it, and then drive back to Fort Condor. Mm -hmm. And there's like three missions that pass while you're in this town. So if you want to 100% the Fort Condor minigame, you have to basically micromanage it and be really anal about it. Sounds really stupid. Yeah. Here we go, check this out. There's windmills, they're being, they're being environmental. Cosmo Canyon, here we are. Ooh. I am home. It is I, Nanakai. Nanakai! Hey, Nanakai, you're safe. Come on and say hello to Bugenhagen. Nanakai! Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? Nope. Uh, no. Let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to seek, to seek the study of planet life. Woo! I always wanted to come here! I'm sorry, it's full now, so I can't let you enter. Oh. They helped me when I was on the road. Please let them in. What? Nanaki? I always call it Nanakai. Nanaki. Nanaki. Fine. Is that so you helped a Nanaki? N Nanakai's better. God damn it. No. Good. Things are the way they were when I pronounced them when I was a kid. That's the rule. Please come in. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Who is Nanakai? Nanakai is Nanaki. That's his name. Okay, so his name wasn't Red 13. That was what Hojo gave him as a, a, a specimen test. But his name's actually Nanakai, or Nanaki. Here is where I was. I mean, this is my hometown. My tribe were protectors of those who appreciate this beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave mother fought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. Cowardly father? Yes, my father was a wastrel. And so the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect this place. My journey ends here. What is a wastrel? I don't know. So, come in, Grandpa. So, uh, he's left the party. Good time, let's take a breather. I guess I want to find out too. So, we brought him home. He, is, he, is, he managed to escape from, from Midgar, and now he uh, he's going to stay here. Okay. Oh, what's in here? Hey, dude. Wastrel. Say it right, you f Wastrel? What's a wastrel? Someone who's a waste. Oh, okay. Just like you. How about our original cocktail? Cosmo Candle. Drink it. But now I can back here? Thanks. Okay. Can I actually drink it? No, you want to let me. Alright. Lame. What's in here? Give me shops or give me items, otherwise I don't care about you. That looks like a place you could sleep. Yeah. Stop cracking. Crack you. No. Shildra in. No thanks. Thank you, come again. Hmm. All the star bottle caps, are those a thing? Go up. There's like a ladder. I like music in this place, it's great. Yeah, it's nice, it's relaxing. Looking for anything particular? What do you got? Potions, tents, maiden's kiss, okay. Why have you brought these outsiders to us? Who steal from our homes? You have brought shame upon your family. Oh shit, dude. Yeah, like bro. <laughs> we'll just leave in the broke down car, yeah. You know anymore about it, it's fine, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Much more comfy. Mm -hmm. And we have all our things in there, so it's good. Yep, yep, yep. It's good. Okay. Yeah, good night, Zen Chan. We will see you next time. Why do you always hit me? I don't hit you. I tap you, I tap you lovingly. That's not, there's no love here. <laughs> love. Get out. Feel it. <laughs> Feel it. No. So, Dev, are you going to do an OnlyFans? Does Ooh. anyone even want no. Dev to have an OnlyFans? <laughs> no, thanks. I feel like Dave would probably make money on OnlyFans. The Tiger Lily Arms Shop. Oh, welcome. People in this canyon are here to compete. Hate to compete. Everything here is replicas. It's something you can really use. Okay. But these are all good weapons. Buy them all. You got like a. But we don't. I don't have enough for everyone, and we should probably just equip our main character, like our main cast. Like, that'll be for Nanakai, because like, we obviously we obviously have to do his story now. So 
I'll buy his weapon. I'll buy Cloud's weapon, the Butterfly Edge. Who should our third person be? Well, I don't know. Do you have any, you have any preference? No. Here, I'll, get, I'll play as Yuffie then. Yuff. Yuff buff. I mean, you could play as Barrett so I don't have to do any voice acting. Shut up. <laughs> ah, hey, Barrett. It was this guy who said he planned her life here. He couldn't take things the way they were, so he went from Midgard to form an avalanche. Want to hear more? Sure. Guess you can say this is where Avalanche was born. I always wanted to come here, and finally I made it. So this place inspired Barrett to form Avalanche. And then? And then, I don't know what's going to happen now that there's no Avalanche. I guess, we're, aren't we in Avalanche? I guess not. I mean, they're, they're all dead. Where did I put it? I know it's around here. Oh, whatever. See ya. By the golf club. Barrett should sound like Mr. T. You just sound like a regular black person. <laughs> I pity the fool. Dave's OnlyFans is just videos of his old reviews. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I pity the fool. Cloud. Cloud, we got, we got to save the planet. Bugen Hagen has sealed the door shut. How do you do it? Super glue? No, dude. With Flex Seal. Oh my god. <laughs> I pity the fool. Wow. Mm. Um, we're really high up. What do I do up here? Jump. Nope. I'm not. Can I go up here? Just jump. Oh! Do it! Will the Spoonie movie be on OnlyFans? Yes. This place is huge, man. Yeah, that's the guy's satellite spinning around. Yeah, bruh. Sorry, bro. Wait, how did you? How did? How did Nanakai climb up here, dude? Yeah, yeah. Chill, cowboy. Naomi's never played it. This is new to her. Also, you can Higgin, he floats for some reason. He he, he like sits on a, on like a green ball that hovers. That's because the games. Four years older than I am. Look. Yes, I floating. see the floating ball. He looks like a goddamn Play-Doh piece. Pretty boy. This is my grandfather, Bugen. He's incredible. He knows everything. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. I heard that you looked after Nanakai. Nanakai is still a child, you see. Please stop, grandfather. I'm 48. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Nanakai's tribe has incredible longevity. So you see, his 48 years would be only equivalent to that of a 15 or 16 year old in human reckoning. Ha ha ha! 50 or 16? He's quiet and very deep. He thought he was an adult? Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up and to be able to protect you and the village. Ha ha ha! No, Nanaka, you can't stand on your own yet. What a rude fucking dude. Get the fuck out of here, brah. To do that now would destroy you in the long run. Ha ha! Reaching up into the he this guy's busy Master Roshi, okay? Yeah, Reaching yeah. up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midgar. You've seen it, haven't you? Well, that's a bad, bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. Ha! Huh. Guys, Dev is never going to pronounce this right. Just leave it. Ha ha ha! When it's time for the planet to die, you'll, have, you'll understand you have absolutely nothing. When the planet dies? Ha 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 ha! It may be tomorrow or a hundred years from now, but it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cries of the planet. Oh, dude. You can hear him. What's that? All right, what's that? The sounds of the stars in the heavens. When this goes on, planets are born and die. What was that? Ha ha ha. That was a scream from the planet. Didn't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt, I suffer. They have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? Ha ha! To save the planet? Ha ha ha! But then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show them. Bugenhagen. Hey, kid. Several odd looking people are here. This whole place has gotten busy all of a sudden. He bought friends, too. I will get them. Oh, there he goes. Pretty boy, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in Grandfather's machine. Of course! Yep. Alright, who am I bringing? So Dev can start an OnlyFans to show us his apparatus. Ooh. Ooh. What do I call them? Use your cell phone! Uh, you, you can't use it in the show to save one. Ring. Wrong. 
Oh, dude, there's Yuffie. I'm gonna get her. God, I hate Steady Yang. Believe it. Okay, let's go. Barrett wants to see the apparatus, don't you? Wait, I should take somebody else too? Yeah. Okay. Nanaki, you're all done. He goes bye bye. I swear to God, you're like losing your. You've had two drinks. No, I haven't. How drunk are you, Naomi? Okay, <laughs> two no, drinks I gets haven't. Naomi fucking drunk. It does not. I am not drunk. Now I understand. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking schlub. <laughs> you could bring Kate Sith to just piss them off. I'll bring Barry. He wants to see it. All the ladies like to see apparatus too. I am not plastered. I don't think I've actually been plastered for a very long time. Okay, let's go in. Here, over here, the door's unlocked. Okay, let's go in. This is actually a really important scene. Check this out. Ho, ho, ho. Looks like you have them all together. Let's begin. I'll stand there. Okay. Beep. Oh. It's a lot bigger up here than I thought. Whoa, whoa! Pretty good surprise in me! Hmm, yes, pretty good. This is my laboratory. All of the workings of space are entered into this 3D holographic system. Ha ha! Believe it! What, what, what the shooting star? Um. That's passing through the solar system, I guess. I hope they call it the pastel planet. And that one, cookies. Yeah, this scene was pretty incredible back in the day. Yeah, I can see it. There's Bugenhag just flying around. Yeah, man. You're gonna get hit, you're gonna get hit! Yeah, bro, it's all going in that big black hole. Why is there a black hole like right by our solar system? Wouldn't that fuck us up royally? Yep. <sighs> ha ha ha! Yes, it is something, isn't it? Let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The body decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everyone knows. What happens to their consciousness, their hearts and souls? The soul, too, returns to the planet. Ah! And only those who, not only those humans, but everything on the planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. Ah! The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, and divide, becoming a swell called the life stream. At least that's what the priest told me. He fed me a lot of life stream. Oh my god! <laughs> In other words, a path of energy of the souls roaming around the planet. Spirit energy is a word you should never forget. A new life. Children were blessed with spirit energy and are brought into the world. Then the time comes and they die and once again return to the planet. Of course, there are exceptions. This is the way of the world. I've digressed, but you'll understand better if you watch this. Oh. Mac and cheese, Ooh, that sounds Dude, good. this is probably better hosted by Carl Sagan. Space, the final frontier. <laughs> These are the voyages. Yes, he is a human. There he is. Hello. Hello, BG Knockout 418. Oh, dude, he just died. Well. And so did that tree. Alright. And there it is. I feel like there was an There's a baby. about this. Yeah, I did it. Now I'm in Australia. <laughs> Spare energy is the source of life for trees, birds, and humans. And only those three forms of life. <laughs> mm -hmm. And not only living things, it makes possible to form planets. Is, can you click through this? Or? No. Oh, okay, that's and if that spirit energy were to disappear, Oh, dude, he's sucking. He's just sucking up all the souls from the planet. Suck them souls dry. This is the end of Evangelion. Nah. Oh, dude, the planet fell apart. Oops. There it goes. I want to see that link. I'll see it later. These are the basics of the study of planet life. Oh. If spirit energy disappears, the planet will die. Ho ho ho. Spirit energy is efficient because it exists within nature. 
When spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured, it can't accomplish its true purpose. You're talking about Mako energy, right? Everyday Mako reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energy is compressed in reactors and processed into Mako energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. In other words, Mako energy will only destroy the planet. Damn, dude. Dude, that's fucked up. Seems like climate change is real. The story of the planet and those who live with them. If you want to know more, you must listen to the world, the words of the elders. Okay. Aren't you one of the elders, dude? Anaki as far as a coward. So that's it. Now I've been thinking that all this time. Okay, that's it. Okay. Well, that was cool. Oh, what do you do now, though? Go fuck Nanaki. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Is that what you want to fucking do? No. Uh, there's some rumbles. What? Why is it rumbling? Yeah, yeah. Super glue. Should probably go back to the entrance and see. Yeah. Oops. Save it here and figure out what's going on. You're gonna do the secret FF7 Easter egg that brings Goofy and Donald into the game? Do it. Oh! Do it. <laughs> it's called taking out this disc and putting in Kingdom Hearts. Gross. We've already learned. Oh, they're all there. How do I get there? Just go up. Oh, is it like a step? Okay. I feel like there's a step on this side. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Okay. We're gonna take a take a breather here, I guess, and kind of catch up with everyone. Hey Tifa. I got high, pretty boy. Bonfires are funny, aren't they? They make you remember all sorts of things. You know, pretty boy, five years ago, it's nothing. No, forget it. I'm afraid to ask. What is it? It feels like... It feels like you're going far away. You really, really are you. Right? Yeah. Okay. I have a feeling that conversation would go differently if we hadn't have had that conversation in Gonganga. Yeah. At Zach's parents. Yeah. Hey, Eris, what do you have to say about it? Like, I totally learned a lot. The elders taught me, like, so many things. About the Setra and the Promised Land. I'm alone. I'm, like, totally alone now. But I'm, we're here for you, right? I know, I know. But, like, I'm the only, like, uh, Setra. Does it mean we can't help? That's fucked up, man. So guys, what did we miss by not having Eris along for that conversation at Zach's? Because she says something else. Like, if, if Eris is there instead of Tifa, she'll have a different reaction. Mm -hmm. I forget what it is, though. Hey, Kate Seth, you fat fuck. I wonder how many years it's been. Gosh, it brings back memories. Like, what a boring place. Believe it. I, like, I thought I want to go somewhere. Let's go find some materia. Barrett. Cosmo Canyon. That's where Avalanche was born. I promised my guys someday when we save the planet from the Shinra, we all go to Cosmo Canyon and celebrate. Biggs, Wedge, Jesse. They all did. Our hour is the only one here, so. Now they're all gone. Dad for the planet. You fulfilled like one fifth of your promise. Really? To save the planet? We all hate the Shinra. Is it right to go on? Will they ever forgive me? Probably not. You'll be <laughs> hated forever. Right now, I really don't know. But what I do know one thing, there's nothing to do to save the planet, the people living on it. I'm gonna do it. I don't care if it's for justice or revenge or whatever, I don't care. <laughs> he just, rah! <laughs> I'm gonna do it! Do it! I have legends born again! Yeah! You talk to the Naki? I don't wanna look up the scene just in case something, like I look up something wrong. Cause I don't wanna tell you what happens there just in case. But, 
Eris has a similar reaction to Tifa, but it's like somewhat different. And it's very obvious Eris hides something about Zack too. Yeah. Long ago, when I was still very small, when we were all around this flame. No, never mind. What happened? It's about my parents. When I talk about my mother, I'm full of pride and joy, and that's fine. When I think of my father, my heart, heart is full of anger. You really can't forgive your father? Of course, he left mother for dead. When the Gi tribe attacked, he ran off by himself, leaving mother and the people of the canyon. Come, Nanaki, there's something you should see. Huh? Can we go and like eavesdrop? The place may be dangerous. Pretty boy, will you another person come with us? Only one other person though. Okay. Who we taking? That's right, we're taking Yuffie because I, I got her, her her weapon. Who would you bone? Eris, Tifa, Yuffie, or Kate Sith? Definitely all of them. <laughs> yeah, is that <laughs> it? All of them, All eh? of them. Except maybe her because her smile pisses me off. <laughs> you don't like her? <laughs> <laughs> This kind of sucks. Like, I guess it's better than uh, having to, to change at your party, but it's still a bit annoying. Eris sees a slut, loves getting penetrated. That's oh. fair, Bun Sluts. Especially the 16 year old girl knew me would bang. She's legal in Canada. She is. Age of consent, brah. I like how you would have, if you were sober, you would have uh, laid into me for saying that. I would lay into you still, only I'm allowed to say it. Why? Because it makes you more of a pedophile because you're old. Yeah. Yep. I'm so broken up with you. What? Yep. So mean to me. Deal with it. Why? Deal with it, nerd. You're a nerd. Okay, arrange. Let's set up. As always, everyone has a restore all. Give you an enemy skill. We'll give you uh, cover, long range, um, sense. What does death blow do? Oh, it just it, it's like a, it's like a low chance. D blow is a low chance to instantly kill an enemy. I didn't make him a pedo, son butts. He made himself a pedo by agreeing to date me. Bullshit. But it's true. Oh god, you're so drunk. You guys are halfway to Knights of HTE realm. I don't know what that means. Knights of the Round is like a is the most powerful um summon. Oh. It might be time to put Naomi to bed. Nope. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the amount of shit I'm getting from you at the moment? What? There's no shit here. Only love, affection, and sex. I'll just... So you can summon the servants from fate now? Yes. 100%. No. Okay. All and restore. What do we need? Why didn't you put the all restore on her, on her arm? Doesn't matter, really. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of her strength or her vitality. I'll give you a bunch of summons. Thank you, my summon bitch. Okay. My brain after reading Fate, Laura. Yeah, like it's there's so much of it. I don't even want to like get into it. Mm-hmm. So we've now been given the option to go follow Bugenhagen. Let's go do it. <sighs> there's a safe point now. It was always here. Was it? Yeah. Shit. I saved her twice, Naomi. Didn't even notice. Oh my fuck. <laughs> you know what I liked? When a Final Fantasy IX came out, I let you skip really long summons. Yeah, they allowed you to like skip, like summons like 30 goddamn seconds Jesus. in this game. I mean, you've noticed, haven't you? Maybe you haven't. <laughs> I actually have. Oh. There's Bugenhagen, he's floating along. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> Yeah, that is one of my favorite parts about the Fate series. I still like how it's canon that King Arthur is a female, oh. and in order to have a child, she has Merlin to give her a dick, so she's a Buddha. Okay, anyway. Yeah. 
Ah! Ho ho ho! Are we all set? Yep. Ho ho ho! Shall we go? He's gonna open up the sealed door. Seal the flex seal. Magic portal! No, flex seal portal. Magic portal to all flex right. seal. Alright! Come in, come in! Okay, you lead the way, Grandpa. What, are you crazy? It's dangerous in there. I told you that. <laughs> you want an old man like me to go first? I'll be right behind you. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Okay. So, we're gonna go in. I think I can go back and go back and save it, though, because we're gonna stop here, because you need to go to the fuck to bed. Well, I'm going 55 minutes. What is it? You're going back? I'm waiting for you to be ready. I can't use the door forever. I mean, you probably could. If we never played this game again, it'd still be open. <laughs> that is, in fact, what would happen. Yeah. All right, I'll go back and save it, and we're done. I'm gonna put Naomi to bed. What? I don't need to go to bed. Dude. <laughs> no, nope, I don't need to go to bed. Oh my fucking god. If I put you in bed right now, you'd like collapse. Untrue. You would collapse because you're a <laughs> I had coffee. Boy. Yeah, you shouldn't have. Well, I'm not gonna collapse, though. Hmm. Okay, guys. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow tomorrow evening for more Final Fantasy. We'll go into Bugenhagen's secret cave and see what's going on. Secret see ya. Cave.